Huawei has launched its own vision of what Android Q is supposed to be in the form of its divisive EMUI 10 skin. We've traveled to the Huawei Developers Conference in China to give the full release a test drive. So what's new and what can you expect? So while EMUI 9.1 might be rolling out to a number of Huawei and Honor devices, we're seeing the Chinese OAM already prep for the steady push of EMUI 10. If you were expecting a huge overhaul, then I'm sorry, this Android Q version of the Huawei branded skin is pretty much more of the same. Key inclusions this time around include a slightly enhanced dark mode, new UI tweaks and further integration with material design principles. For the most part, the entire experience feels very much like EMUI has done in the past, but with an enhanced sense of speed. The main reason for this feeling of increased inertia is the updated animations, which react much more readily to your touches and swipes. While Huawei hasn't overhauled the gestures to replicate the Google method, they simply remain the same as they did on EMUI 9. This isn't too much of an issue though, as they are easy to grasp, and you can still use the three button nav bar if you prefer. Where EMUI has changed more so is in adopting some more One UI style one handed usability principles. All of the pre installed Huawei apps now use much more white space and a more magazine like approach to design. This supposedly enhances end user digestion of information. And it's okay in theory, but I'm sure many would have preferred the entire display being much more information packed. It's in many of the Huawei applications that you'll see the vast majority of changes. Icons have had a refresh. The most needed in my opinion was of course the camera UI. The new approach feels much more streamlined and clean without losing any functionality or familiarity. Where the dark mode differs from the stock Android implementation is in how EMUI 10 is able to force dark mode on third party apps where dark mode may not have been implemented. The demo devices we had to test didn't have a great deal of applications installed, and with no access to the Google Play Store in China, it was difficult to tell just how some of the most popular Western apps behaved. That said, Google Play Music without a native dark mode seemed to work well with EMUI 10 and gives us a hint of what to expect when Google do add a proper dark mode to the application. You can see further material design influences in the notification shade, which now more closely resembles the stock Android notification shade toggles. The new rounded icons include neat animations and transitions than you will find in EMUI 9, while simultaneously making it easier to understand if you have an option activated or not. There's also changes abound in the settings too. The entire experience is now cut down and streamlined into seven sections, rather than the massive list-like approach on Pi, on Huawei and Honor phones. Huawei has also touted a new always on display feature for OLED display smartphones. The feature changes both brightness and color as the day progresses, and similarly allows you to change lock screen clocks and more like Samsung's Good Lock app. The feature though wasn't available during our short hands on time, is set to come in an OTA sometime around October. While there is much more to delve into with EMUI 10, these are some of the core updates on what was one of the first full Android Q builds that we've seen to date. Of course, if you have any questions about EMUI 10, be sure to stick them down in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.